Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? I'm just coming in to unload the combine here. He's just going to run to the end of the line there. And then I'm actually going to switch it over so that it starts moving up and down the field only rather than going round in a circle. So we can actually put that on standard hire to help rather than the AI extension, which will make life a little bit easier for us. Let me, uh, I want to flip through that way. There we go. Um, just press H a second. And yeah, if I keep this one unloading into the trailer there, it'd be better. And while that's doing, I can go into here and I can press that one. So my question for this week we are currently harvesting sugarcane over in this field and we are slowly making progress you can see we've done well over half of that field now it is slow going but we're getting there we cannot use course play at the moment we have to use what is available to us right now um they're working on it for course play and i don't know very much about course play so i will also have to be working on it for course play um but maybe next time we'll be able to do that but anyway right now we've got this field requires plowing now we could, if we wanted to, just leave the sugar cane, not do anything else to it, and it will carry on and grow again. It will grow another crop right where it is. You don't need to do anything. It just regrows from the um, from the base up because it's a type of grass, I think. Um, so my question is, do you want me to do that? Do you want me to just leave that, or would you rather I actually went over it, we plowed it up so that we gain the extra ten percent bonus for having it plowed, and then we it would mean though that we would have to replant it. So we then be able to take a good look at the sugarcane planters and keeping them running, keeping them topped up with sugarcane that we've got stockpiled, that sort of thing. Which would you like me to do? Would you like me to leave it and just let it grow and then we'll worry about replanting it much later in the series? Or do you want me to get on that and do that now so we plow it up as soon as we're done harvesting and then we replant the field? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Today, I would like to carry on with our combining over here. And we just press H so that we can carry on up through there. Um, we've got cultivating going on up in the top field up here. If we go and take a look at this one, he's doing a great job. And this is a deep cultivator as well. So it's adding the plowed state to the ground as well as doing the cultivating, which is absolutely brilliant. I think we will need to do one pass along the top and lower end of the field just when it's finished. Um, because there it looks like there's a little tiny line along there so we will just we may have to do something about that before we finish um, that's going to carry on for now and at the moment we've got all of these fields harvested so we that one's going to start working its way through them we also want to start getting some planting done but I don't well we could start down in field 14 we could start planting there we've got combining to do here we've got comb lots of combining up here and more on field 8 as well as um, sunflowers over on field 15 so we've got a lot of work a lot of different tasks that we need to be getting going and we want to be running them all at the same time it's kind of the idea with this series is that we're running multiple machines all, all at the same time whilst looking at everything in glorious sunny South America um, so I'm just going to go and get this one unloaded then we've got to go and just uh, attend to the sugarcane harvester once again and once we've done that we're then going to get the John Deere combine there and we're going to fire that bad boy up and we're going to get it out to now I'm curious did I, I, I can't remember if I actually bought the corn header. I don't think I've bought the corn header. So I need to go and get the corn header for the combine, which is a fair trip. And it means we've got to drive the combine all the way down to the shop, get the corn header, and then come all the way back again. Because I think I'd like to start doing the corn next. Um, oop, tip. There we go. I'd like to start doing the corn next. Um, and then we can sort of move on from there. I will find out for next week how to at least set a course with a tractor and trailer going from the combine back to the yard here. And so they'll just come down, they'll come round this corner and they'll come up through here. So that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to have this bit at least going automatically so that when we're doing the combining, we don't personally have to keep managing the trailers. I can have one tractor on this small trailer running the small buys on combine and I can have one tractor on the bigger trailer running the John Deere combine and they should both run together quite well so let me just stop that one right there and you're doing great we don't want you you have gone horribly wrong yet again but there's no surprises there really because you keep doing that so let me just back this one out to here and fire it and then if I come in here I want to basically I want to try and get the spout far enough away from the trailer that might be okay there if I press H here 
should keep running. There we go. We will just have to nurse it around this next corner as well so that we can get that last little bit in. Um, but I'm hoping that it's going to be all right because the John Deere will keep following on round. Even though we do have it quite tight at the moment there. So I'm going to have to just press H on that bit and if I fire it there... Just get it running on there. There we go. And H again. It should now just carry on down that bit. Excellent. Right. We've cured that little problem. We do need to just make sure that the um, John Deere here. We will we'll empty this one out. And then we can start getting the John Deere combine. Because I'm thinking that I'm actually going to run the Bison combine over there. Running those two fields. And we can go over to just do control F. And we can go and empty this one out. Um, the bison combine can carry on with the crops with the straw and we can use a John Deere to do that corn field over there and then head down and do the sunflower field as well. So we'll get both of the fields, all of the fields sort of being combined and done. We've got one cultivator at the moment and it's not a very big cultivator so that one we kind of need to keep that one running all the time. We want to keep that one running as much as we possibly can without stopping. So that's, it is quite important that we keep that one going. Um, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. I don't think it's going to be difficult to keep it running. And then our seed drill as well. That was not also that was not very big. So we do have a limited amount of funds at the moment. Um, we're we've got a quarter of a million, and I know that that's you know still quite a substantial chunk of money. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big. Um, several people said we should get rid of our second shoot cane harvester and only one run one. And the more I think about that, the more I think that might not be a bad idea because we can run one if we can have course play for the next time that we do a sugarcane harvester and it does all of this automatically, empties this one over into the lorry over there and uh, the truck, sorry, um, and then the truck, we could even have the truck emptying itself out, um, but I don't think we even need that. We, we wouldn't need that. We could do this if it just did this loaded it into the truck and then from there we could worry about it i mean we can have it we could we could have it just tipping onto the ground um and i didn't want to do that this time so i wanted to use these sugarcane trailers properly but if if it push came to shove we could just use the red trailer that we got down there that new one that we bought and we could use that one come back to here and yes it's done it again yeah we could just no, 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 no. Don't, don't try and get funny with me. Right, what we're going to have to do now is I'm going to have to go right round in a circle because the John Deere has decided that it's going to grow a mind of its own, which is really not very useful. I don't want you growing a mind of your own. If I bring you in round here, are you going to be able to follow me round? This is the tricky bit. Is it going to be able to do it? It should be able to. Yes, it's managed to do it. Excellent. We don't like independent thought around here. If you could just avoid all independent thought, that would be greatly appreciated. So I could just start that one going along there, and hopefully the John Deere will follow. I will nurse it around this next corner, and then we can jump over to the John Deere combine. We've got to get that one down to the shop. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of being able to set up course play to run this. If this could just be harvested automatically, I think the shoe cane could be particularly profitable um, because of the amount of, you know, you do get a lot of sugar cane out of the field, especially if we have full fertilizer and plowing and everything on it. It could work out really well. So if we can get a course play, if we can get course play working properly with sugar cane, I'm very tempted to actually plant more land with sugar cane. I think it could be worth the hassle. We'll see. Anyway, uh, that one's done and that one's done. This one's going nicely. This one, we will just quickly empty out that combine again. Um, at the moment, I don't have crop destruction on. Now, I know that a lot of you like me to have crop destruction because it does fit very well with the theme of realism. However, if you were playing realistically, the combine would ask you to empty out uh, before you went up or it would move itself out automatically. Um, and so you would never be in a situation where you would actually need to do this. So we would have to physically jump into the combine and unload it ourselves. Um... You know, move the combine out away from the crop so that we could do this and we, you certainly wouldn't do this realistically what do you think of this idea should we put the crop destruction on and avoid doing this no matter what you know physically move the combine around if that's what we got to do or are you happy for me to leave the crop destruction off because we haven't done that yet i know that this is supposed to be a realistic gameplay um 
but I think that we could still do this and play realistically. We, we, we can allow for certain things to happen even during a realistic gameplay, but it's how much you want me to allow to happen. So are you happy for me to leave the crop destruction on or would you like it, um, uh, keep, keep the crop destruction off I should say, or do you want me to change it? Do you want me to put it back on again? Um, I want that one in the comment section. I want to hear your views on that because that one's quite important to me. Um, just fire this one up here and see if we can get it round another corner. Is John Deere going to follow? Yep. And now what's it going to do here? This is going to be interesting. I'm going to get it around this corner and then I will go and get the John Deere combine. We need to run that one down to the shop so that we can buy the corn header and we can start doing the corn. Right. I need to run this one down to the shop so I can get the corn header and we'll start on that and we'll use the normal header on this combine a little later on in the series I think but I do like this combine this is a very nice combine um, you look in here and there is a lot of attention to detail with the console and everything is it gonna fit down through this way I gotta remember that the cab on here is not central the cab is um, offset so I do have to be careful of that as I'm driving through I will get to the shop and I will get that corn header and I will bring it back up here and then we can take a good look at it we have our combine almost back now it's quite slow on the road, this bad boy. I've just um, sorted out the sugar cane as well. And everything on the farm seems to be working really nicely. I must admit, I am quite pleased that I decided to do it like this. Um, go into an established farm rather than starting over again. Um, we'll probably start over again on our next series. But this one, I do like the idea of being able to go straight in to some slightly bigger machinery. We haven't got all like top of the range, massive great big stuff. Um, but we kind of, we, we've met it halfway. So some of it is older machinery, some of it is new machinery. We've got plenty of land here so we don't have to like worry about how to try and generate a little bit of extra cash in order to get that together. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that this could be quite entertaining to play all the way through. Uh, let's put that one all up to 100%. I'm not going to worry about the headland on it. I'm just going to go exactly like that and switch that one off and then just go H. Now, is there anything that unfold on this combine first? Field detection. It doesn't look like there's anything that needs to unfold. The header itself is quite new, um, especially compared to the combine. And I love the fact that that guy is wearing shorts. That is brilliant. The hired help is wearing shorts. That is sensational. It, it, he's he's um, quite a, a short fellow. He can't actually reach the pedal, so I'm guessing... What's going on here? Why are you blocked? Blocked with what, exactly? There's nothing to block you. What on earth could be blocking you? Oh, I was enjoying that view. Um, I'll tell you what, let's go in Control h and there's a setting in here that we want a collision check on. Uh, you need to put that one on, so I think that actually switches it off. I'm not quite sure. Collision check on is on. Collision check is off. Uh, connected field only. Pause. Show trace. Show AI, ve AI vehicle. Alternative helper. Wait during unload. No, that should be... Actually, it, it shouldn't be an issue there. I mean, I'll try that way and see if that makes any difference. And I will press H and see what it does. So I'm not really sure what it was coming up against think there's anything out here for it to run into um she's not wearing shorts again i think the cab is quite high is a long way up in the air but the hired help you do actually have different hired help here in south america by the look of it yep and we've got that again now what's going on here why is it doing this i'm going to change it over to standard hired help and we'll see if that makes any difference if i go there i will go to normal hired help and we'll see what that does. It might be that the AI vehicle extension is having a bit of trouble with this field or this combine. There's something in there that it doesn't like. Um, so we'll let that one do that. The combine itself, ancient old combine this one, very old combine, but it's, it's good. I like this. I like the way, I like the feel of it. Um, it does look like a little bit bouncy com um, using the, um, the, the ground response. I think it's the ground response mod, is it? Um, it is a little bit bouncy on that, um, but the faded textures on it, I quite like it. It gives it this aged feel. It really does. It looks like the machine is slightly worn out. Um, it's been in the sun an awful lot, so it's, it's, there's a lot of fading going on with it. Um, it's nice attention to details on this. I don't know about this whole 
cage on the top. I've no idea if that is a real thing or not. It certainly wouldn't be in the UK. The UK, every combine you see has got a cover that will go over the top because we do get a lot of rain in the UK. So, um, yeah, the, the, I've not seen any combines in the UK that don't have the ability to whack a cover on pretty quick so that you don't have to get the combine itself under cover um, during a rainstorm. So that bit there, I'm assuming, is a US attachment rather than anything else. Uh, but other than that, I see no issues with this combine. It's, it's really good. I like this combine. I really do. So I'm quite pleased that we've... I'm pleased with our purchase here, with our decision. We will eventually move on to a different combine. Um, just not yet. So let's move on through. We want to... This one's going fine. We can let them carry on. This one... We need to empty that one. We'll move to a new field in a minute. So we weren't going to worry about that one just yet. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to put the Merlot on... Um, exclusion a moment and then we don't need to worry about it now this one here we're almost full on the sugarcane however I am going to manually what's happening now is we're just having to manually run round the corner at the if I just do the entire turn on the end of the field like this um, it works really well because then it will go back up the other end again without having any problems but I'm not gonna do that just for a second actually I will if I just press H It'll go on and it will just start filling that bit. It should do. It's not going to because the... Uh, <laughs> the machine's actually reaching right over to the other side of the trailer because the tractor has moved up just a fraction too close just to start with. That's brilliant. Right, and then if I come through the... Then we want to go onto this one and then Control F to stop following. And I can go racing off and we can empty out our next load of sugarcane. And then we'll bring the bison over. The bison can go into the field that's right next to us in field three. Start combining that one. Um, give me your opinions down in the comment section today about whether or not you think we should keep the um, crop destruction off. Or do you want me to put it back on again? Um, it's, do, you, do you not really not like me using crop destruction like this? Um, I'll be interested in your views on that one. So we get this one here tipped out, and then the bison can go onto that field, which means that we're then in a position that so long as everything else is still running, we could actually go and grab a tractor and go and pick up the John Deere baler that we want for um, starting to do the baling. We've got the field over there that we want to start baling. I also need to get another tractor and trailer up to the John Deere so that we can do... Hang on, I want to just come in like that. Control F. No, 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 no. You've gone too far. Let's just back that one up there. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? If we go Control F there, then it should go in. It should um, go to the right plate. There we go. That's better. Line up like that alongside it and allow the spout to come through. Excellent. Right, so that one's going. This one's up here. So I do actually want, um, before I move the new combine, we'll grab this Stara back up here. And I'll run this one down. I'm going to bring this one into my cycle. We'll go and take this trailer. I wonder if we could use this trailer with the other John Deere. No, we won't do that. We'll park this up down the bottom. And we've got this trailer then that we can use. And if we decide that we're going to do course play and we're going to try and run two sugar cane harvesters. Um, you know, have another field of sugar cane. Maybe something like that. I don't really know yet. Um... If and when course play is updated to um, do all of this. They are working on it. That's all I know at the moment is that greater minds than my own are currently investing time and energy into figuring out how to make course play run with this. Um, redoing code, doing all kinds of clever things that are completely beyond me. And they are going to make it work. So let me just come down to here and we'll unhitch this one. And I'm going to use our new trailer over there rather than I know we've got that green trailer back there but I'd actually like to try using this trailer here because we haven't done anything with this one yet so we're going to use this one for the corn for the John Deere combine also it's got a higher capacity than the other um, the other trailer so if we jump down there and grab that one like that and then we'll run this one up to the John Deere combine so this one can then feed that one and I will try for next week to at least no course play for emptying combines because then we can leave the bison combine and the John Deere combine working in separate fields and we don't need to like pay them a lot of attention because they will combine and the course play drivers will drive and they will unload and like so many of you said so many of you have been asking me over and over you really have wanted me to get course play going on 
any of my maps and especially this one because we've got an established farm it'll bring the farm to life you've got machines running all over the place so we can leave them doing the combining and then we come back in and we do some other jobs now this is one of the reasons why i'm thinking it would be better for this series if we don't have um crop destruction on there's a little bit of a glitchy catch there um if we don't have the crop destruction on because and i don't think course play actually um destroys the crop anymore i think it overrides the crop destruction but course play does actually do this as far as i know course play does have your machines driving over the crop which um you know, if it's going to do that, we may as well just keep the whole crop destruction thing turned off and um, use our imaginations a little bit. So, yeah, I really do want your thoughts and opinions on this because I know that it's... it's Some people feel quite strongly about this. And so I, I want to know what you think. What This is, you know, very much base game, what happens during base game. Um, but we're kind of thinking of automating a lot of the processes here if I can... Well, when. I say when, not if. This is a when. When I figure out how to do the course play thing properly so that I can have the combine working in a field and the tractor unloading, I may even be able to get some of this done for next episode. If I'm able to find the time for tomorrow's episode, I'll see if I can do this and have the combine being unloaded automatically. So the combine will run and course play will unload and then when the trailer is full, it will take the trailer down to the field and it'll be done with so let me just let that one go through there like that and then if i come back through here i can actually just park his trailer up alongside the field and we can wait right here because this trailer has got a nice bit of capacity on us just over a quarter full so i'll stop that stop that one there a minute that one's going nicely right next one this one uh sugarcane has already gotten itself locked up yet again I'm going to ignore that and we're going to come over here onto this one here. I'm going to unload this. I'm actually thinking that it would be better so that uh, we can keep everything running smoothly. If I harvest field four first, what have we got in these? Oh, that's the barley up there and then we've got the wheat down here. Um, yeah, if I was to do field four first, I could do a few rounds around the outside of that one because I think field three, we could just, without having to do any rounds around the outside, um, we can just put the standard high and help going. It might be a little quicker if we do it like that. I think I'm not quite sure we'll see we'll get let's let's get over there and yep close that one down right I'll get this one over I will free up the sugarcane harvester again we'll at least get that part of the field done this time and then we can sort of work on this part of the field um I don't know if we're gonna get I don't think we're gonna even finish a sugarcane harvest this week it's been going a long time now hasn't it it's okay it, it doesn't matter that it's been going a long time I think we can allow for that and anyway, I'll get this set up and then we can carry on with our episode. This combine really is not the fastest combine on the road, uh, but it's pretty good. I did think about this and I thought, well, you know what? We're doing wheat. We've already started the wheat harvest, so it would actually be more realistic if we were to stick with doing the wheat. That's what you would do. Uh, so let me go into here and just make sure we've got everything how we want it. Yes, we have. Um, let's come out of there. Oh, hang on. Uh, one more. Yes. No, that was right and press h that one could just run into there field 29 was that one harvested let me just take a look i don't remember that no that it was harvested wasn't it it was um because you go back here it used to be barley but it was harvested yeah we also own field 26 the little one right up there which will eventually do as a root crop for the pigs later on when we come to do the pigs but we're not going to do that right now so that one's going to carry on there i'm going to run back to this one and we're going to run this down to the farm and we're going to unload it again and then when we've unloaded this it can run straight back over to the wheat field and carry on with the bison i like the idea of keeping the bison and the john deere um if we can get course play running when i get course play running i need to say when more don't i um when i get course play running a little better that smaller john deere combine and the little bison combine with this one here and the tractor and trailer that we got up there with the john deere i think both of these are actually good combinations this one will work well with the bison um and then the the bigger tractor and trailer would work well with that john deere they i think it would keep them both running um, and keep everything moving smoothly. I only think that we need one tractor and trailer per combine. We can have both combines going. 
Um, so I don't think that we're in a desperate hurry to upgrade the combine. If we can keep it going like this, we're not going to be in a huge tearing hurry to upgrade our combine. What's going on? Don't crash on me. Please don't crash on me. Well, that was annoying. We have crashed for some reason. I went and looked in the logs and I can't see anything serious on there. There was the new conveyor that I had, a mod that was put up fairly recently, which was a um, does logs and bales and stuff. Um, but I can't see that that is the one that's caused it. So yeah, at the moment I got no idea. It might be that John Deere that we were using up there, which is now sadly down over there and I've got to go all the way down to the shop and do it again. Um, I don't think it would have been the combination of follow me and so on that we had over that side. I've got the standard hired help just running on this one again. So I will, between now and next episode, finish doing this field here. Um, I will let the uh, cultivating carry on up to the north and I will do that section of sugarcane right there if I can. Um, yeah, this one will carry on so that one can just keep going as he is. We can finish this one. So I'm going to be roughly back to where I was last. Well, actually, I'm cycling through. I actually want to get to my John Deere combine, which is that one just there. There we go. That's the one that I want. Let me start this one up. And if I climb out, we can just get this one unhitched. So I need to go in a little bit closer there. Unhitch that one. And then you've got to do this from inside the combine. Like that. And then I can start driving this one back down to the shop. So I will get all of this back to roughly where we were uh, just now. <laughs> I'm really annoyed about this. I don't know what's caused it. Um, it might be this combine. I really, really hope that it isn't, but it just might be. So I'm just going to sort of put that one out there. There is the possibility that this combine is what just caused that issue. But anyway, we did get to the end of this, end of the episode. We only just need to kind of wrap things up. So we can do that. My question for this week is, what would you like me to do with field two? Would you like me to, after we've finished harvesting the sugarcane, just leave the field and let it grow back through again? We'll put on some fertilizer, um, but we'll just leave it as it is and let it grow. Or would you rather I plowed it up and, you know, cultivated it and plowed it so that we gain the extra 10% harvest yield the next time we do the sugarcane? But what if we do plow it up, that means we'll have to plant it again. So would you like me to plow it up and plant it? Or just leave it and we'll plant more sugarcane later in the series. It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. And if you enjoyed this episode, or at least up until everything went all horribly pear shaped, uh, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.